So let me deal with the idea of retirement in a very different light. Kasi po, alam nyo, minsan, pag sinasabi nating retirement planning, nakafocus tayo dun sa financials lang. The financial part of it is but a subset of the entire retirement plan. Kasi po, lagi kong sinasabi na importanteng maintindihan natin Hello mga ka-RFF, this is again Rex Mendoza from Rampver Financials. First of all, I really want to thank all of you for all the support. Your views, your likes, and your comments mean a lot to us and we really appreciate it. I hope we are really making a difference as we become part of your life and financial journey. Kaya naman po, dinidibdib namin ang mga komento nyo. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Alam ko marami sa inyong nagiintay nung aking product discussion for the funds that are going to be available in GCash. We'll just be delaying that quite a bit because I believe that our friends from GCash are making the platform better. This beta test has a lot of comments coming from people who have tested the platform. So while they're improving it, and pushing the launch a little bit back, mag adjust din po tayo at itatapat natin ang ating product discussion very, very close to that real big launch. But why am I here? Why this topic? Kasi po, I really got moved with Jung's latest video. It is timely. It's a very important and relevant topic for many of us. And that's the reason why I really said, I'm so tempted to come up with a rejoinder and this is it. Sabi ko po, siguro naman dahil sa edad, baka naman marami akong maidadagdag dun sa nai-share niyang Jung's 5. And again, the focus will have to be on retirement and this is something that I think is going to be very, very important for many of you. Kasi po talagang itong retirement, maaaring napapabayaan as an investment objective for many Filipinos. For one, siguro ang iniisip ng marami, abay, ang kumpanya ko naman ang bahala sa akin. Hindi nila alam, lagi po kahit papano may kakulangan and it is the responsibility of every employee, of every person to augment that to make sure that they're going to be living their twilight years in luxury or in the terms that they've desired to. On the other hand, yung iba naman po, parang talagang siguro, hindi lang naiisip. At, sabi ko nga, when we neglect all of these very important financial objectives, we might have to regret it when the time comes. And as I've said, when regret happens, almost always, it is too late. So, let me deal with the idea of retirement in a very different light. Kasi po, alam nyo, Minsan, pag sinasabi nating retirement planning, nakafocus tayo dun sa financials lang. The financial part of it is but a subset of the entire retirement plan. Kasi po, lagi kong sinasabi na importanteng maintindihan natin ito. Retirement planning is not about having the funds to live on. Retirement planning is about also thinking about the fun to live for. Ulitin ko po yun. Hindi lang financial ang focus ng retirement planning at hindi lang pera na gagamitin natin pag tumanda tayo. Importante din po yung sagot sa tanong na anong gagawin natin. See, a lot of people don't understand this. If you don't have any reason to jump out of bed, if you don't have anything to excite you, normally po, medyo magiging slow tayo, hindi tayo magiging excited sa pumumuhay natin, at maaaring mapaaga ang ating departure. So, very important that we have the money, we have the funds to live on, and we have the fun to live for. That's the reason why retirement fundamentals are very, very important. And that's why I really want to start with that. Ano ba po itong sinasabi kong retirement fundamentals? Well, first of all, Retirement is not an age. 
it's a time of capability. Hindi natin pinag-uusapan na kailangan mag-retire ka sa 60 or pagdating mo ng 65. Karamihan po kasi because retirement plans in companies are set in terms of age. Akala nila, ganun yun. Hindi po. Ang retirement, sigun, ang sagot dun sa tanong na, kaya mo na ba? So, pag kaya mo na, hindi kailangang 65 or 60 ka. Pwedeng 45 ka pa lang kung kaya mo na, makakapag-retire ka. 50, kung kaya mo, makakapag-retire ka. And this is the reason why if we prepare very early, we can even do it early. And when we can, we have the capability, hindi naman po ibig sabihin hindi na tayo magtatrabaho. Umpisan po natin dun sa idea ng yun. Kailangan po, pwede pa rin tayo magtrabaho, pwede pa rin tayong gumawa kung anong gusto natin gawin, pero hindi na tayo umaasa dun sa sweldo o dun sa kikitain natin. Dahil meron na tayong nakatabi to take care of our needs. So, it's very crucial. When a person actually retires, he can do what he wants, he can even work, but he doesn't need the money that his endeavors will produce. He is working because he wants to, not because he has to. Ang laking importansya po niyan. Hindi ba yung magtatrabaho ka, pero hindi mo na kailangan ang sweldo, hindi mo kailangan ng kikitain. Magtatrabaho ka dahil gusto mong gawin yung ginagawa mo. In a sense, retirement means you have a separate kitty, you have a portfolio that gives you the cash flows you need at that point in your life. You're not going to be dependent on any company, on any job, or any business for that matter. So it's a time of capability. Most importantly, retirement has to be a point of no return. Hindi po pwedeng pag sinabi natin, okay, retired na ako. Tapos syempre, umalis na kayo sa inyong trabaho. Namumuhay na kayo in your own terms. And then all of a sudden, biglang kinapos tayo. Yan po ang napakalungkot na eksperyensya ng marami. Pag kinapos sila, kailangan unin nilang magtrabaho. Or, kung hindi man sila makapagtrabaho, they now need to be dependent on someone else. Dapat po, ang retirement, once we make that decision, there is nothing that will push us back. We will have to face up to our twilight years in our terms, in the way we want to live it, happy, healthy, and independent. Yan po ay isang malaking bagay na kailangan pag-isipan natin as we prepare our retirement plan. So, while we're preparing it, ano ba po ang mga kailangang una nating gawin at isipin? Number one, we will have to visualize our retirement in detail. In detail. Sabi nga ni Ms. Jung, dapat alam nyo, saan kayo nakatira? Where you're going to live will dictate a lot of your needs, a lot of your financial needs, your mobility needs. Nakatuon yan kung saan ka nakatira at kung saan ka mamumuhay in your retirement. Number two, anong gagawin mo? What will you be doing? As I've said, there has to be something that excites you. If there is nothing that will bring you out of bed, medyo magkakaproblema po tayo. Health issues will follow if we're sedentary, if we're not having a true purpose at that time. Ano ang hobbies nyo? What hobbies will you pursue? Napakarami po nating naiwasan at hindi nagawa nung tayo'y bata-bata because of all of the responsibilities and obligations that we have. Now may be a good time to think about what we miss at ano po ang ilalagay natin dun sa tinatawag na bucket list. And lastly, ano po ang must have at nice to have? Alin ang mga bagay na talagang kailangan-kailangan natin that we cannot do without? And what are the things that are nice to have at hindi naman po natin kailangan-kailangan na pwede nating ipagpalipan. Alam niyo po, maraming retirado na nagkakaroon ng problema dahil pag nakatanggap sila ng pera, kung ano-anong nice to have ang inuuna. And before you know it, ubus na ang retirement fund at kailangan na uling magtrabaho para kumita ng pera. A well-prepared retirement plan clearly establishes a goal. How much do you need when you retire? 
ano po ang comfortable amount na kailangan mapagpatuloy niyong tanggapin in your retirement life. Tapos, tanungin natin ang ating sarili, magkano na ang ating naitabi? Yung bang naitabi natin at maybe yung tatanggapin natin sa opisina, kaya na ba nung tapatan ang ating pangangailangan on a consistent, sustainable basis when we retire? That may be an issue that we need to pursue. Kailangan alam natin yun. Kasi alam niyo po, the focus of retirement planning is lifestyle maintenance, not accumulated wealth. Maling-mali po yung iba pag nagsabi silang pag meron akong 20 million, magre-retire na ako. Pag nakaipo na ako ng 10 million, magre-retire na ako. Or kahit sabihin yung 50 million, magre-retire na ako. Kasi hindi po accumulated wealth ang focus natin. Ang focus natin is to maintain the lifestyle that we want. Because of that, ang importante po, income replacement. Ano yung papalit dun sa sweldo mo? Ano yung papalit dun sa pagpasok ng pera buwan-buwan? San mang gagaling? So it's not your net worth. Kasi po yung net worth, nauubos yan. O isipin nyo na, kung ang lifestyle mo, you spend 1 million a month. Eh kahit makaipon ka at may net worth ka na 50 million, eh 50 months lang yun. So, yun na ba ang haba ng retirement na iniisip mo? O di ba importante, hindi yung 50 million, kundi isipin mo, kailangan ko 500,000 naman, 400,000 naman, or 100,000 naman. Kasi pag meron na akong cash flow na ganun, makakapag-retire na ako. Does that make a lot of sense to you? Because yung net worth po or yung accumulated amount in a portfolio can be extinguished. Ang iniisip po natin sa retirement is a secure income replacement, a flow of money that will continue to sustain us sana nga po in perpetuity. Bakit napakaganda ng in perpetuity? Para po walang risk. Ibig sabihin tuloy-tuloy ang pasok ng pera, at pag may nangyari sa atin, yung portfolio natin, maipapasa natin sa mga mahal natin sa buhay for what we call our legacy. Di ba po? Dapat ganun? So dapat nakapokus tayo dun sa amount na kailangan natin. Now, as I say that, dapat po minimize risk exposure. Kasi pwedeng may mangyari. Isipin nyo na lang, oh, ha? nag-retire kayo ng January 2020. So akala nyo, okay na okay kayo. Biglang nagka-COVID noong March. Biglang nagkaroon tayo ng quarantine protocols. Bumagsak ang market. Will that retirement kitty be resilient enough to provide you the cash flow despite of what happens? So dapat po, in a retirement plan, your portfolio also has to be secure. No matter what happens to the market, Even if you become ill or get struck by some sickness and also business conditions, bakak may mangyare sa negosyo natin. Kaya akala ng marami minsan, ang de yung retirement ko, yung negosyong tinayu ko, yung kinikita nyan, kahit sabihin mong ha hindi na ako nagtatrabaho at pinasa ko ng responsibilidad sa aking mga managers, okay na ako. Pag nangyare po ito, papano yon? And that's the reason why a retirement portfolio has to be very resilient and has to take into account certain risks that can happen. So, when we say a retirement plan is a well-prepared retirement plan, it is a smart plan. It establishes a smart goal that is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So, ano dapat po ang nasasabi ng isang tao? Dapat It clearly establishes that smart goal where you can say, "Dapat po ganito yung statement ako. Mahari lang kopya niyo ito. I will retire at age 55 because that's the target, age 55, with 24 million in an independent investment portfolio that will securely yield me 100,000 pesos monthly in perpetuity. I shall be active in education and financial literacy advocacy." And will prosper others for as long as I physically can. So, claro po. At what age do I want to make it happen? How much do I have? That will establish, more importantly, the cash flow that I will need to sustain me and my life 
and I will focus on an advocacy of financial planning and financial literacy that will help other people for as long as I can. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ko inaasahan yun, nakikita para sa akin, pero pwedeng kumita. Gravy na lang yun, dagdag na lang yun. Kasi yung aking 100,000 a month in perpetuity is good enough to carry me on for as long as I live. So ito po, very elementary, very basic computation yung how much money you need to establish a cash flow in perpetuity. So, isipin nyo, magkano gusto ko buwan-buwan? 50,000, 100,000, 200,000. So I'll put it at let's say 100,000. Yung 100,000 a month, pag mapapakita mo ang isang fund ng 5%, okay, clear po ito ha, bakit 5%? That's arbitrary and I'm just saying it because that number popped into my head. Dapat po isipin natin, ano ba yung pinaka-safe na amount? Kasi alam nyo, sa ngayon, you can actually earn 5% in a long-term bond or in a perpetual bond that's issued by a good company or even the Philippine government. Okay? So, pag long-term po, pwede nyo kitain yung 5%. So, safe yun, walang risk. Okay? Now, if you're not willing to take that level of risk and you are going to be more comfortable with a lower amount, what does that mean? Dapat po, lumaki yung base natin. So, hindi na kasya. ba? Diba? Ngayon, pag sinabi nyo naman na kaya nyong kumita ng mas malaki, eh, bababa po yung kailangan yung fund. Kasi, mas malaki than 5% ang kaya nyo. So, again, let's focus on these numbers. Most of it will be assumptions. I did not factor inflation. You know, all of that stuff. That will be a more sophisticated and complex computation. Ito po, simpleng-simple lang just to set up the idea. So, ito, 100,000 a month, which is what? 1.2 million a year. If you're earning 5%, paano mo ngayon kukumpute niyan? So, it's the monthly stipend, monthly stipend, 100,000, divided by the interest rate that you're projected to earn, 5%, divided by 12. So, we're making the annual rate a monthly interest rate kasi yung nasa ibabaw niya is a monthly stipend. Then we compute the fund level required. 100,000 divided by 5% divided by 12 or 100,000 divided by 0.0042. Ano po ang lalabas? 24 million. So kailangan nyo pala ng 24 million kung gusto nyo ng 100,000 a month. Again, elementary calculation. Just to push the idea na pag kailangan nyo ng 200,000 abay 48 million pala. At pag bumaba yung interest rate na kinikita nyo, kulang yung 48 million. This is a very basic computation, but I hope it's an eye-opener for many of you. Nakapagtabi ka na ba nung amount na ganun? Or nag-uumpisa ka na bang magtabi? Kasi ang dali pong sabihin na I need 100,000 a month when I retire. Or I can live on 200,000 a month when I retire. Pag tinanong mo, saan mang gagaling yun? Hindi pa alam ng marami. And, It's very important that you start early. Kasi alam nyo naman po, yung fund na yan, hindi naman yan lahat nakalagay sa mutual fund, hindi yan lahat nakalagay sa funds, hindi yan lahat nakalagay sa stocks. Siyempre, iba-ibang instrumento yan. Pero pagdating ng panahon, kung maaari lang, magbabago ang composition yan at magiging safe para po, yun nga, to take care of whatever business risks that would be at that time. Pero tingnan nyo na lang kung nakapag-umpisa siguro kayo ng maaga. Alam nyo ha, just to give you an example, in about 2010, there were condo units in Makati selling for about 5 million. A little over 5 million lang po. Yung mga condo units na yon na sana nabili nyo noong 2010, 2011, kumikita na po ng renta ngayon na around 50,000. So, isipin nyo na lang, hindi nyo kailangan ng 12 million to earn the 50,000. Kasi kung maaga kayo nakabili ng investment na yon, it could have taken you 5 million only to earn 50. So ano ibig sabihin? Kung dalawang condo unit ang binili nyo, wala pa palang 11 million, hindi 24 million ang kailangan dahil napaaga ang inyong pagsusubi. As I've said, combination po for many of us. It doesn't have to be real estate. It can be stocks, bonds, mutual funds. Let's all blend that together. Pero ang importante, alam natin ang ating goal and target. And it's not just simply the bottom line. 
It is the monthly amount that we're going to be receiving on a regular basis. Now, I want to focus on the common mistakes people make in retirement. Common mistakes po ito. Regular na mga pagkakamali ng maraming tao. Number one, not being ready for contingencies. Reading ready po sa investment. Reading ready po sa plano. All of a sudden, something wrong happens. Critical illness, bad business environments, and market volatilities can wipe you out. That is the reason we'll have to do something to make sure that we are covered against those when the time comes. Next, underestimating the years you will live in retirement. This is very important. Technology, medical science has increased the life expectancy of a lot of people. Dati po, we live in about 15 to 20 years from retirement age. So, yun lang ang perang kailangan natin kasi 15 to 20 years lang. E paano po kung humaba ang buhay nyo and you live 25 to 30 years after retirement? Dapat po hindi tayo kakapusin na no matter how long our life will be. You know, that's a blessing, right? To have a longer life. That's a blessing. Pero ang hirap pong tanggapin ang blessing if we're not ready for it. We don't want a long life if we're going to live miserably in those extra number of years. Next, assuming that you need less income in retirement. Ang sinasabi ng iba, ah, simple na lang ang buhay ko. After I retire, my life will be simpler and my expenses will be less. Abay, pangit naman po yun. As I've said, the fun to live for. So, babiyahe kayo. Huwag po nating i-underestimate ito. Siyempre, mag spoil kayo ng apo. Tutulungan nyo pa rin ang inyong mga anak sa kanilang mga kabuhayan. So, there might come a time when you will need more in your retirement and you'll have to be ready for that. Next, expecting that you can work after retirement. Yung iba umaasang magkakatrabaho ako. Let me tell you this. Of the two-thirds that say they want to work, only one-third have jobs. Yung pong nakakalungkot, kahit sabihin nating gusto nating magtrabaho, it might not be a time to be able to get the right work for ourselves. As I've said, two-thirds ang nagsasabing magtatrabaho sila. Out of this number, only one-third have jobs. Next is managing a portfolio strategy that is directly influenced by financial and media headlines. Ayan po. Yan ang pinakamasagwa sa lahat. Yung medyo retired tayo, pero we are emotionally managing our portfolio. Di ba po napakaganda? Pag retired ka, retired ka. Enjoy your life. Make sure that our financial portfolio is secure, hopefully managed by a professional who will be directly acting on our objectives. Dapat po hindi tayo masyadong magiging too engrossed or too involved in our finances at that time because when we retire, we'd like to live life in our terms with the things that we want to enjoy. Now, if money management is your cup of tea, then fine. Okay lang po yun. Pero ayaw natin yung mapipilitan tayong mag-google ng oras, mag-research to manage a portfolio kung hindi naman yun ang gusto nating gawin. Di ba napakaganda po na gagawin natin yung gusto nating gawin and we can rely on professionals to do it for us so that we can give more time to the things we'd rather do. And lastly, not having the right asset allocation for our portfolio in specific phases of our retirement planning. Sabi nga natin, when you're accumulating that retirement kitty, it has to be focused on growth. But, pag malapit na po yung retirement, dapat yung risk na yan, dinadial down na. Kasi ang delikado, pag magre-retire ka at doon may masamang nangyari, baka mamaya hindi ka makapag-retire in time. So, dapat po, minamatch natin ang ating asset and investment plans to build up that retirement and match it with the right phase of our lives. All of these, I'd like to put together and say, we will have to have goal-based asset allocation. Dapat po ang ating investment management nakafocus in realizing our goals and not earning more money. 
That is a very important statement that I want all of you to heed and put into action. That emphasizes that investing has to have the objective of attaining life goals. It is not supposed to be focused on just earning more money. It has to be focused on life's priorities. In which case, matatanggal po natin ang behavioral biases at mas magkakaroon tayo ng disiplina in achieving our objectives for a sound and luxurious retirement. I hope ito pong video ito ay nakatulong sa marami sa inyo that are contemplating starting a retirement plan or within the journey of making sure that they have the retirement of their dreams. As I will always say, we at Ramper Financials will always be here to help you within your life and financial journey. We endeavor to be one with you and to handhold you in the fulfillment of all of those dreams. Again, this is Rex Mendoza. Please, antabayanan nyo po yung mga video na pinramis ko. And again, alam nyo naman, a promise is a promise, tuto pa rin po namin yan. So, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. Please do give us a like. That kind of helps. And tap that bell button para sigurado pong alam nyo pag nag-upload na kami ng mga videos na inaantabayanan nyo. Again, till the next one, we wish you all the very best. God bless always.